Namaste programs. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and the Appalachian Summit as part of the rove through the USA continues. We're going from Sossamon Field. We're going to Asheville Regional. Will it be in Asheville? Let's go find out. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's get going. Boom. Oh, we're turning to the left for some reason. Off we go. We want 3.33 for 36 seconds. Oh my god, why are we flying all over the place here now? Come on. Come on, plane. You can do it. You can do it. Stop messing about. Come on, we need to take off soon. There's some trees in the road, as always. Yeah, come on, plane. You can do it. Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Let's start our clock, but it's only 36 seconds. Probably not even worth reaching over and pressing it. Uh, launch from Sussman Field Airport and head to the northwest to fly over the border of Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The park, which protects the Great Smoky Mountains, part of the Blue Ridge Mountains of the Appalachians, uh, lies on the Tennessee-North Carolina border. It is the most visited national park in the United States and as such is both a natural and cultural icon of the country. Uh, have we already arrived at the border? What? You're talking about struggling to get any kind of uh, climbing going on here. Okay, we'll do a bit of uh, trimming back. Look at these. Look at these green forests. Ah, very cool. Alright, there we go. Now we want already done the next one well we had 334 for 21 seconds buzzard roost mountain continue on course to the buzzard root mountain and then 20 uh, 002 degrees which is where the purple arrow has gone now for one minute 58 i guess we'll just do that i haven't seen a border i don't know where this tennessee uh a debacle is coming into it i guess we're heading to klingsman Klingman's Dome. Turn to the north and fly to King Klingman Dome. Klingman's Dome, which lies on the Tennessee North Carolina border and is the highest mountain in Tennessee at 6,643 feet above sea level. It is also the highest mountain in Great Smoky Mountains National Park and the highest point on the famed Appalachian Trail, which weaves throughout most of the chain of mountains. Got it. And that must be it in front of us. And it's previous I see the park itself the Great Smoky Mountains National Park borders Tennessee North Carolina so at some point in the next minute we're going to cross the border into Tennessee apparently although I see no border on my Google map and um, while also climbing over Ling Man's Dome if we ever manage to climb up to 6,000 643 feet, which is proving to be an issue right now. Well, I'm seeing on the edge of my Google map the word dome. And yes, look at that. There is a border there as well. Well, I'll be Tennessee damned. We need to get a little bit more height a little bit quicker. Come on, play. Yeah, Klingsman's Dome, just to our right here, actually, this is the peak. And we're about to go into Tennessee. Ah, Purple Arrow doesn't even want us to cross the border. Okay, fine. So, 98 degrees for 6 minutes 18 seconds we set our clock fly over the dome here and we're going to little bald knob no snickering no giggling in class 
At Clingman's Dome, head due east to Little Bald Knob, located on the southern eastern border of Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It, no, it does just say southeastern. I don't know why I read it as southern eastern. Yeah, we've just literally missed the border by not actually climbing over the mountain. So we're still in Georgia, apparently. We're not we're not leaving we're not leaving Georgia. We're stuck here. We shall never leave. Let's level off a bit then. Little bald knob, huh? What a name. What a name. It better be small, bald, and knob like. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. get the plane to do a little bit of level flight for us. Oh, apparently not. Alright, hang on. Wait for this wind gust to go away. Stay alive, I will find you. There we go. Good enough. Good enough for, for well enough, you know? As they say. We might still need to do a bit of climbing. We're heading into the big mountain. The big fellows. done three minutes of six minutes so on our way to the knob the little bald knob minutes what have we got below us a town that is not mentioned on the jugals it is a hidden town a secret town a town of mystery and adventure the likes of which you haven't seen this summer invisible town level as bro just chilling chilling like a villain mm, we've done five minutes so another minute or so this must be a little bald knob in front of us then it is not little nor bald and I don't know exactly what 
knob stands for? A little mound, I guess. Little hill. Then you have a doorknob. Obviously, it's a vulgar word for a penis. What do all these things have in common? Just not flat. Something that sticks out. Civilization things down here. Got a little town on the right there. Seems to be called Ma Maggie Valley, perhaps. On the Jugals. Can't quite read that exactly. Maggle or Maggie. Look, cool. arrow still hasn't switched across, even though we've done more than six minutes 18. And we've been, well, we were climbing for a bit. We're not at full speed right now, for example. There we go, 101. This must be a little bald knob right here. Somewhere here. A 101 for 440. Anton. Mama's making Canton. Doesn't take long for the world to get around. Continue east, picking up the Pigeon River at the town of Clyde to reach the town of Canton, North Carolina. Yeah. I know we're in North Carolina, aren't we? We're not in Georgia anymore. I forgot. Yesterday we arrived at North Carolina. Brother, jump for France. Look at this beautiful valley. Amazing. Such beauty. My eyes can't hold it, which is why I wear these goggles. I need it to protect myself from the beauty now, 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 now. the large town below us here Delwood apparently uh, Delwood Junaluska. And south of that, Waynesville. Waynesville. Is that your town, Master Wayne? Nah, mate. My town's Bruceville. Just realised, you know, Bruce and Wayne are both very stereotypic, stereotypical Australian names. Wayne, oh, Wayne, Bruce was a Monty Python skit where a bunch of Aussies were hanging around and they were all named Bruce. I've never met a Bruce or a Wayne. I met a Wayne. I mean, back in the day, back in the 70s and 80s, everyone was named Bruce and Wayne. It wasn't because of Batman, I don't think. Yeah, dang. Where did these Bruces and Waynes come from? Well, I guess there's Robert the Bruce. Scottish influence, and then I don't know, Wayne maybe comes from that part of the world too. Oh god, I'm speculating. Speculating, I'm, I'm wandering the uh, fields of, of, of mystery here in the brain, I'm ranting, rambling, really. 
don't know what I'm saying, don't know why I'm saying it. Meanwhile, three minutes have gone by, and we need to go... Game. We would be not having any more stutters like that, thank you. Just load everything in, bruh. Doubt there's photogrammetry here in... This is Canton. This is the famous Canton. Famous for having been mentioned about three minutes ago by me reading it out off the navlog and singing the Canton uh, Chinese sources. I don't know if that's a global thing or just Australian. We had a brand called Canton. Actually, was it Canton? Is it Canton, maybe? I'm not making Canton. No, I don't know. I don't know if it was quite Canton, C-A-N-T-O-N. Which is, of course, the name of a province in Chinese. Like the word province. They have cantons, do they not? That's what we would use, province or states. Here we go, 118 for 520. Chville, original. R-G-N-L. Why not just write regional? Gain a visual on Asheville Regional Airport to the southeast of Canton and land there. There's another plane over there. Another plane trying to land at my airport, possibly. I know it's five minutes this way, so we're not going to gain a visual for a while, are we? Oh, more. What are you asking of me? Maybe we can probably... Maybe we can probably, perhaps, descend a bit, too. Why wouldn't I just say, let's descend a little bit? Here we go. Flashing right in front of that is a mountain just above the tip of the left wing right now. Straight up, there's a plane there and a plane right in front of us. Now, they can't possibly be bush trip people, right? Because they're not coming from the direction I am. If they were doing the same bush trip, surely they'd be where I am. Or is it just uh, live traffic? Which don't know that the bush trips have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this is how it's worked out. I don't know why there are other planes. I know nothing. Anyway, they found the runway, I guess. It's a big runway. They may even have two runways. They're very good. It's like three, well, it looks like three runways, but one of them must be a taxiway. The other one has runway, the right hand one has uh, right runway markings. But then two, two, the middle one's very big, and they're all very close to each other. Don't know what's going on there. It must be a very popular airport then. We are over a town or an, a, a note on Google that's called Beaver Dam. This is where that one beaver, that one time, made its own dam, and, yep, we named it after him. He's dead now, of course. This was back in 1802. He'd be, what, 2,005 years old by now? Uh, don't you mean 200? Uh, you know, 2,000, definitely. I know maths. To be fair to my uh, American cousins here, uh, I I made the mistake of saying 2,000 instead of 200. And yes, I blamed it on the stereotype of Americans being bad at maths. But that is a stereotype. They are great at maths. Well, plenty of people aren't, but you know, there's no particular reason why an American would be worse at maths than any other given human being on the planet. Or better. All right, well, I guess we're, um, coming in this way. 
I guess I'll land on the one that's got the lights flashing. Because why not? And in fact, let's start getting our gear down. Trimming back up. Blowing it down a bit. Killing like a villain. Flaps down, gear down. Meow, chink. And do a bit of floaty floaty. Over the, uh, what's that? It's almost like a racetrack or something, but I don't think it is. Little circular thing in amongst these fields. Maybe it's like a horse training track or something. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. So it looks like it's the right-hand runway, which is the one that looks like it has all the proper markings on it. Even though there's two large things just to the left of it. And what? Well, left of... two left of it. I don't know how to put that into English. There are three runway-looking things. But it's the far right one that's the actual runway. And the other two are just taxiways, I guess. Come on, but why is it so difficult to load this place? Come on. Get it together. Get it together, algorithm. Ah, suburbia. The houses and little rows. Little corner things there, like you see in every movie. Like you see in Hitman. What was it? W Wilkington Creek or something? don't have an idea of what the name of this town is. I'm just going to go with Ashfield, I guess. That's the name of the airport, but... There's Arden, Royal Pines, Avery Creek, Oak Parks, Fletcher, all in the... just along the road here, next to the airport. Are these all suburbs of a larger town, or are there just a bunch of little towns here? Might have to do a bit of digging to figure it out. What's, what's going on with that middle section there? It's not a runway. Maybe it was a runway at some point, and not anymore. Very strange, I have to say. Oh, time to land it. And the one thing that is a runway. And two giant taxiways that are bigger than the runway. What's going on? As we landed here at where was it Asheville? Asheville. Asheville. Beautiful. And is it gonna register? Yes it is. Well there you go. That was leg four of the uh, Appalachian Summits bush trip. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir, goodbye.